Oh man, this room has got to get changed. The colors. There is no theme to this room. It's not warm. It's not inviting. Well, it's all going to get changed. Stick around. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to hit that like button and to subscribe. It means a lot. Stairs, and that being to the man cave, especially to the fish room. Now you saw my lovely orange walls there, and I did move around the tanks, so you already got a quick glimpse of what's done. Now I, I removed all my Three Stooges posters, yeah, but I wanted to make the room much more inviting. So I think you'll uh, enjoy it. Uh, so come on with me, and I'm going to take you through a quick tour of the. Uh, the new and hopefully improved fish room. Well, let's have a look see at the new and improved, or hopefully improved, fish room. Now I've tried to make it more inviting. Currently I still have the same amount of tanks in here. But as you can see, I've got rid of that terrible, terrible colored paint. Took all the trophies off and just minimize the, what's on the shelf and try to make it more warm and inviting. Now let's get to the fish tanks. Currently have uh, four Koi in this 100 uh, gallon tank, and they were the ones that were in uh, my grow out pond. Mainly shiros. You see, I left a great big gap in behind so I can uh, get back there and work. You can see where I've hung my nets, and I've got a hose. In fact, I've got two hoses. One I can pump water directly out and right into the sump pump. The other I can fill uh, my tanks or take water out of them uh, using the same method. So it's much easier for me uh, to work out of here. And I'll show you, I left a big gap in these ones as well so I can get in behind and work and clean the filters without having to reach up and over and have all the water drip out into my tanks. It's also easier for cleaning the backs of them. And you can see they're nice and clear and clean. And you might notice the kind of a pink glow light. Well, I decided to use the wasted space and uh, I'm going to do some uh, plants in here. I currently got some strawberries going. And I've got some oregano. I'm going to plant some lettuce up. I've got some peppers in behind. And it gives us a different background on this with the uh, pinkish light. And this is a 75 gallon uh, fry tank. It's pretty minimalized, just so I can work out of it easier. The whole thing is about making life easier, you know, working harder, I mean not harder, but smarter, not harder. I have a tongue twister that I can't say today. And these are my 
one year old, uh, Shabumkin. Trying to get more of a, a Bristol look. Well, I decided to do some, have some more grow lights here. And I got talked into putting a more of a, uh, a tropical feel to the room just to warm it up. I got a corn plant that was suggested to me by Sandor. Uh, that I'll get to later that just a great guy and great wealth of information on plants. In behind I'm going to try to keep the boss for fertilizer in the winter. And in behind that I've got some peppers growing. Because who doesn't like peppers in the winter? Well, I've got my bookcase all set up. Yeah. And we've got a, an old record player album. And my albums, most of those are old stuff like the Beatles and the Who, the Stones, all original. Yeah, that gives them away my age. Yeah, of course, some important books that everyone needs. Some water gardening encyclopedias and uh, master gardeners. And just good, good reading material and tons of old uh, magazines. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tour. I'm sure I'll add to this video at one point, maybe even later today. I just had to show you uh, my hand carved uh, wood ducks from our local artist. Well, thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little uh, tour of the man cave. That I hopefully get a little warmer and more inviting. At least my wife thinks so, and she's enjoying it. And the music helps too. Thanks, everyone. All the best. Just using a wet sponge here, as I don't want to sand it and uh, get all the dust in my fish tanks. Ow!